Hi, I'd like to talk to you about virtual learning environments, as they tend to be known here, or learning management systems, as they tend to be known elsewhere, and another small topic called learning technology integration. Um, a learning management system is really about how we might deliver a course to a student, a tool for the delivery maybe of a full course or a, or a, a suite of modules in a program. So how do you deliver it? Now, examples of these, you're probably well aware of these, Moodle, Canvas, Brightspace, Blackboard, but also you can use things like Microsoft Teams or even Google Classroom uh, to act as virtual learning environments for you. Uh, now, the, the idea about it, uh, and I talk a lot about different technology tools that you can use for teaching, but it's good to keep all that stuff in one place in a in a, a coherent structure or a structure that the student can follow. And uh, these learning management systems or VLEs, they do provide a lot of the tools, but also maybe not all the tools. You might want to use external tools as well, but they're effectively the links are kept in there. So to the student, it seems like all the tools and learning objects are in one place. So it helps to create structure for the student so they don't lose track of where they're meant to be. It also facilitates communication between all participants, really, between the lecturer and the students and between the students as well. And even if you break the students into groups, it can facilitate uh, communication within these groups. It allows you to test and grade students, so assessment is in, involved in it as well. It may even allow you to control progress based on the activity of the students, uh, or just to monitor that program and, and to intervene yourself as the lecturer. Uh, some systems allow you to have live classes from within the learning management system. If they don't, they most likely allow you to link out to another tool that has live classes. Okay, so what would be typically in a learning management system or virtual learning environment? Well, you'll have tools for content. They will allow you to upload documents and even videos and multimedia. Uh, they will, but they will allow you also to put in links to, to items on the web that are outside the system. Uh, and those links can make it look embedded within the system so they don't really leave it or allow them to leave the system. Uh, what they don't tend to do is allow you to bring in into the platform simulation and games. To do those, you'd probably need to give links to outside tools. Uh, it allows you to do assessment at the simplest level. It allows you to do quizzes. Their quiz functionality is built into learning environments. Uh, it allows you uh, to have assignment, what are all called assignment drop boxes, where the student can submit electronically and the lecturer can go look at that assignment and to give grades and feedbacks to it. It allows them to keep journals, documents that they update over time. It allows for students to assess each other. Um, uh, as I say, from the assessment and the result of assessment it can allow the lecturer to control their progress, what they see and what they don't see. And as I say, it can provide a dashboard of performance or analytics so that the lecturer can have a general picture of their class, all the students and where they are in terms of their performance. Um, it allows for communication, so messages can be sent out to the whole class. Students can uh, even post queries, which can be answered by other students. Uh, these would be in forums or discussion forums. Uh, you can even give discussion assignments. Also, a lot of systems have the ability for instant messaging uh, students, which, of course, if somebody's not available, that message is held until they're next on the system. Now, LTI integration, learning technology integration, it's more than just a simple link to external tools. It allows you to pass data to the external tool and to get data back. Now, the data that's usually been passed out to the external tool is just usually the identity of the student, so the student doesn't have to log in twice. It verifies who they are, gets them into the external tool, just straight from a, a click, as it were, allows them to do certain activities in that tool. And it can 
pass back data about their activity or their performance on that tool back to the learning management system, which can be used again for grading or for controlling progress or whatever. So, and of course, and I'll get out of the way here for this, it allows us to um, uh, award certificates. They can just be simple PDFs or simple images of documents or real digital credentials like badges where there is data uh, um, embedded in the award that you give to students. And I'll talk about digital credentials elsewhere. And uh, they can be, the students can download those and put them wherever they need them. So. Thank you for watching.